Hello and welcome. How can you improve email open rates? It all starts with your message. What's your message? In this video, I'll reveal to you the top three mistakes that most email marketers make and suggest tips that work for me. This video contains excerpts of a live presentation in a Zoom webinar I gave to an audience that paid for this information. I've done my best to condense it down in the most important points for you to understand. If you'd like a free copy of my slide deck and more videos that go deeper into this subject, please head on over to emailhelpout.com and enter your email address. Without any further ado, let's jump into the training. The good news is email open rates are uh, much higher than usual. People are reading more email because they also have more time. The bad news is the competition is higher than ever and the technical delivery challenges are stricter than ever. So let me ask everyone a question. Would you like to learn how to turn strangers into buyers? So my goal is to give you a system for transforming strangers into rabid buyers and raving superfans profitably and predictably. Who this is for? Do you have a list? Yes, then okay. Do you have a Facebook account? Are you willing to switch technologies? A lot of the technologies that we currently use for emailing are simply not viable any longer. And are you able and organize and focus without distractions? Can you work with a mentor? So let's talk about the basics. Why have a list in the first place? Well, it's kind of a chicken and egg scenario. You need to have a list in order to send people something, but in order to send people something, you need to have a list. What is a lead magnet? A lead magnet is a gift or something of value. We're gonna go deeper into that in this video. And then finally, what types of emails work best with what type of person? One of the keys to having high open email delivery is to send the right message to the right person at the right time. So let's begin with why have a list? We need to have a list because we need an audience to send people to. One of the simplest things you can do is let's say you do a webinar and you do it on Zoom. You export all of your Zoom subscribers and you import them into your email software and you say, hey, thank you for coming to my webinar. Let me send you the slide deck. That's what I'm doing and I have grown my business exponentially since I started this practice. So what is a lead magnet? Basically a lead magnet is a small chunk of value that solves a specific problem for a specific market that is offered in exchange for an opt-in. We have grown up now in a society where autoresponders, bots, and everything like that, and I got bad news, guys. People are immune to them. They can spot them a mile away. Okay, while they can be triggered by a specific action, the key thing, in my opinion, is what we now call in the industry, behavioral targeting. Let's talk about triggers. Remember this, just because you can trigger something doesn't mean you should, all right? So let me ask you all a question. Since we're talking about email, we need to start with list building, right? Wrong. Okay, wrong. We don't start with list building. This is the great big lie. The money is in the list, fact. Most marketers focus on growing their email list and spend very little thought or effort on how they're gonna make money from that list once they have it. If you were gonna write one thing down, this would be it. Your number one and only priority is to determine how you will monetize a new lead or subscriber once you have it. That's it. Period. Two big mistakes most marketers make when building their email lists. Mistake number one is they fail to follow up with new subscribers. Someone just joined your list and they haven't heard from you within 24 to 48 hours, okay? Now, typically, you would have an autoresponder that will do that, but if you heard what I said earlier, Unless you update your autoresponder all the time, it's gonna be kind of boring and uninteresting. I'm gonna show you guys some secrets that I use 
that have really, really changed the game of my business. You can follow up with new subscribers without using an autoresponder, and there is a better way to do that. Mistake number two, they send the exact same email to everyone on their list. Mistake number three is they use the wrong software. Did you know that the sender reputation is based on your email software that you use? You can't do anything about your mail provider's sender reputation, but what you can do is work on your SPF. Send, it's called the sender policy framework. Basically that says, this is gonna be my agent, but they're sending on my behalf. So please don't take their reputation. I want to build my own reputation. So how can you improve your email open rates? First of all, follow up with new subscribers as soon as they join your list. Make sure you send them something special. For example, I will send you the slide deck of this presentation so you can review it at your leisure and apply it to your business. Send different messages to different people based on their relationship with you. If you are just getting to know someone, would you ask them to marry you on the first date? By the same token, would you send the same email to your spouse as you would to your business partner? What about your most valuable clients? The best practice is to send different emails to different segments of your list. This is called behavioral marketing. Finally, seal your bottle. Use the right kind of email software for the correct purpose. Don't just use one piece of software and think it will do everything you need. Instead, do your research. I can make recommendations when we talk next time. I've made a few recommendations of the software I personally use based on your list size in the description below this video. That concludes this introductory video. In the next video, I'll be talking about the first secret of actually building a presence online, being an authority in your field. I'll see you in the next video.